Hi everyone, I'm here with Paloma White and I am so happy to announce her as our newest Certified Soul-Based Coach. Congratulations, Paloma. Thank you, Anamik. I'm super excited. <laughs> yeah, so why don't we take people through kind of what got you to this point? Why, why are you a life coach now or a soul-based coach now? Um, well, uh, this journey began about a year and a half ago. That's when I discovered, uh, soul-based coaching. And, um, that only happened, that happened very quickly after I decided that I wanted to become a life coach. Um, and that happened as a result of some soul searching. Um, <laughs> just asking myself, I was really happy in my job as a social worker. i had been doing that for three years. Um, uh, but I just had this feeling that, you know, it could be even better. I could be doing something even more aligned with um, my interests and my gifts. Um, so I set the intention to to find out what that is. I didn't know how that was going to happen or anything. But um, one day it just came to me. It popped into my head. <laughs> Intuition um, said, yeah, life coach. That's actually perfect. Um, I'd, I've always been interested in the inner world, emotions, um, psychology, uh, how to live in peace with oneself, um, how, how to live a life that feels good. And one of my things I'm very interested in is how to be in a relationship with one's own negative emotions, because this is something I had to learn over the years. Um, I was the master of suppression. <laughs> I was very good at this um, from a young age. And of course, it served me as, as all these um, mechanisms do. Um, but, um, you know, I had this, this inner journey of discovering that it's possible to be in a different type of relationship with these negative emotions. And, and I learned that. And it's really been life-changing for me. Um, my levels of, of wellness have gone way up over the years. Um, I discovered something called the inner child um, and connecting with my own little, little inner child um, has really transformed my life as well uh, for the better. Um, I uh, suffered a lot from anxiety and I still do. I mean, that's the thing. Like I like to tell people, like, that's what I explain. Like, it's not like my anxiety's disappeared, but, um, it has really reduced in intensity and, uh, and I, it just, it doesn't affect me negatively anymore. So it's there, but at the same time, I feel, I feel really, um, resilient and like I have, um, a great relationship with, with it, <laughs> oddly enough. Mm. Yeah. So, um, and, and about soul-based coaching that I knew I wanted to be a life coach, but I knew there were very, very many uh, um, institutions out there providing trainings. Um, I had no idea. I just started Googling. Um, and um, I guess it was uh, synchronicity or fate uh, caused soul-based coaching, the Academy for Soul-Based Coaching to uh, enter into my uh, field of vision. And I immediately was like, oh, okay, this sounds interesting, soul-based. You know, I'm all about that spirituality and, and you know, intuition and those type of things. So I um, started looking into it and was blown away. Um, I, I, I decided to take the leap. It was, it was a, a leap of faith. <laughs> um, but, it was, but, it, but it was a gut feeling. And, and I know that when I follow that gut feeling that it always turns out good. And it turned out much better than I even expected. Mm. Oh, yeah. I love hearing that. You say anything <laughs> about what the much better was? Um, holding space. So this is, like I said, this is something I was working on already, you know, being curious about um, negative emotions and all that. But becoming a, a soul-based coach really has solidified my skill of holding space, which is a skill that um, I practice, of course, on myself, um, but also with other people. And it it is the foundation of, of this, uh, of soul-based coaching, of, of my style as a coach, of my philosophy. Um, this idea that um, we all have an innate healing capacity and, 
and the best way to activate it or to allow it to do its work is to hold space for everything. Mm -hmm. um, and that includes the not so nice things, the hard, the difficult emotions. So yeah, the things that we like kind of push away or yeah. And, and yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm. And what difference has that made for you? And when you look now at where you are, you're certified, like high five, like well done, you've done an amazing job in diving headfirst into all the newness of this work, because it's a very different kind of work as people that are a little bit familiar with the academy and our work know. Um, but you've been like diving in head first and embracing it and going through every step, taking new steps. We were just talking about that uh, before we hit record about like, you know, these new steps, they come with shaky legs and they come with all of the, and you, you just keep on persevering, which is beautiful to see. Uh, and then also, of course, it's, it's taking you to this place quite quickly um, as well. Um, where you're such a beautiful coach and you have so much to offer to your clients. Yeah, well, and, and you've, you know, seen you do this kind of over the months and over the year, you've kind of grown and grown and grown and grown and I'm like, oof, so gorgeous what's here right now. Mm. Thank you, Anamik. That's how it feels. It feels like tons of growth. Um, and I'm really happy to, to be there for other people so that they can experience that as well. That's, yeah. that's my goal, my, what's my driving force to help yeah. people become more of themselves and to, to uh, learn that it is okay to take steps forward with fear, um, yeah. not, not to despite it. Yeah. yeah, we don't have to pretend we're anything that we're not, right? No, no. no. <laughs> Gorgeous. And so I, I, I wanted to ask, but then I went off and I just had to share how amazing you are. Um, but I wanted to ask, so what's the difference now that you know all this? What's the difference for you as a, as a coach and as a person? Um, more relaxation in life in general that comes from more trust. Mm. Um, and that changes everything. Yeah. <laughs> when we, so this, this uh, ability to relax and to trust that everything is going to work out just as it should. Um, we're exactly where we need to be each step of the way. Um, it just feels a lot better than, <laughs> than, than that con constricted, fearful yeah. state. And, yeah, and that wanting to control state or oh, yeah. feeling you need to, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so beautiful. It's such a small word, right? More trust. It's like, but it's like the, the impact of experiencing that is enormous yeah gorgeous and i know that you'll have tons of practical examples as well from your own life maybe it's really good to um, also just share a little bit about who you work with who you love to work with mm -hmm. um well i don't know if it's any surprise but um i have great chemistry with people who who i can relate to because i know how it feels um, and so things they tend to be struggling with are things like insecurity, um, social anxiety, uh, workplace anxiety. Um, it's that critic that's there um, and it's talking away and it's getting, it can be very persistent. <laughs> mm. And um, yeah, so I like to help people um, realize that that's something that can be changed because I think something that I used to believe and a lot of people believe is that it's like, Oh, it's just in my genes or it's my personality. Um, it feel, it can feel really difficult to, um, overcome. And I have an issue with that word overcome, but, but it is the most common word used. So I'll use it here. Um, cause it's more about not fighting it. That is how we overcome it by not trying to overcome it. <laughs> mm. Having a different, um, shifting our, our relationship with our own insecurities and fears. Um, in order to embrace them and pull them in closer because that's what they really um, are are trying to get us to do when they come up. Yeah, so it's, so it's not about being at the mercy of them anymore, is it? No, no. Like you said earlier, it's about changing your relationship with these negative emotions or things that are, that are bothering or, or getting in the way for people. Um, yes. By bringing them in closer, something yes. else can happen, isn't it? Well, they alchemize is what happens. 
because it's just, it's, they're actually the other side of the coin and that on that other side of that coin are our gifts. Um, so I, I like to think, yeah, exactly. So people, when, when they do this inner healing work, there's an alchemy that happens there and growth can happen. And then they're able to be, um, more of themselves, which is good for people around them. So that can have a ripple effect as well. And yeah, 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 perspective. And I love how soul based coaching is a beautiful way of, of allowing for this alchemy to happen. Yeah, so gorgeous. Uh, I think we will, we will look forward. I know that you've been sharing quite a lot on your Facebook page already, but definitely look forward to hearing more from you and about this alchemizing and about what people might expect when it's not about like getting getting away from these bad feelings or having to overcome them in any way but how can life be different when it's not that anymore mm. uh, we'll look forward to hearing from you on that where can people find you uh on my facebook page it's called paloma white emotional healing um i'll have a website up soon Ooh, uh, yeah exactly which the link will be um, on my Facebook page too as well. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. So everyone who'd like to find out more about working with you, definitely go to your Facebook page, Paloma White Emotional Healing. Mm-hmm. And uh, we look forward to hearing more from you in the future, Paloma. Thank you, Annemiek. And for now, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your new status as a certified soul based coach. We're so happy to have you as part of our community. Thank you, Anami. It's, it's so great to be a part of it. Great. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.